Hey, what's going on guys? So I'll be taking a look at this newer NW-300E USB studio microphone. This is just the packaging for the product. It's relatively beat up. Unfortunately, the uh, shipping service wasn't all that great, but the packaging itself is very nice. It does have a picture of the microphone in the back. It does come in black and white. Here we have the black microphone. Then you have some of the specifications for this microphone. It is a very nice packaging because it just kind of opened up like this. And inside of here we have an instruction manual and then some foam and then the actual kind of pieces themselves. I like the packaging because it's very easy to repackage. Like I've of course already opened this and used it quite a bit, but I was able to put everything back in the box for storing if I'm not necessarily using the microphone right away. It is very nice packaging. I definitely didn't put everything in the right spots here, but as you can see, it all fits and that's kind of all that matters. We'll go ahead and get everything out of the box here and show you what we get. So apart from the instruction manual, this is everything that we get in the box. I chose not to include the instruction manual because it seems more like an advertisement for this microphone rather than an actual instruction manual. It's all in very, very broken English, so it was almost zero help to me. However, it's a pretty easy microphone to use, so it's not that big of a deal. We have a little adapter here that we do not use for any of the accessories we have here. I'm not really sure what its purpose is because there's not really an instruction manual. I'm guessing it just works with some uh, accessories, maybe like a boom arm or something like that to use with this microphone. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm really not sure what the purpose of it is because there's no instruction manual. Manual, but we definitely don't need it for any of the accessories we have here. The next thing we have here is a little tripod, which of course is what the uh, microphone will stand on if you wish to use it. It is a moderately solid tripod. It won't really work for anything other than the microphone, but it does work for the very well for the microphone, and so it's nice that it is included. The next thing we have here is a little wind and pop filter. It does, of course, go over the microphone, which just kind of eliminates some background noise and maybe some pops and things like that from your mouth, which is good. It'll just kind of generally improve the recording quality for the microphone, which is, of course, always a good thing. Next thing we have here is a little clamp. This goes goes onto the tripod and of course your clamps onto the microphone so you can hold it up. And the final two things we have here are the microphone itself and then of course the cable which you use to connect the microphone to the computer. This is an XLR to USB and 3.5 millimeter cable. It's a little weird. Uh, most XLR cables I've seen are just XLR to XLR or maybe even XLR to USB but XLR to USB and 3.5 millimeter is a little bit strange. This is essentially the power cable for the microphone and this is what the actual recording goes through. So you are kind of limited in quality by the 3.5 millimeter cable but then again, this is a $23 microphone, so you really shouldn't be needing quality much better than that. Unfortunately, because of the kind of connector we have here, you will need to have a PC or a computer that has separate ports for the headphone jack and the line-in. If you have a laptop that has them combined, you will need to buy an adapter, and then you can put this in the line-in port and then have your headphones separately. But for the most part, you will not be able to use this in a computer that has them combined. A lot of PC laptops have them separate, but if you have like a Mac computer, it will just have a headphone jack, which also serves as a microphone port. But unfortunately, you will need to separate them, but which you can do with like a $2 adapter, so it's not a huge deal, but it's kind of annoying because you will have to buy a separate adapter to use this microphone if you are using either a Mac laptop or a kind of newer PC laptop that doesn't have the port separated. This is, of course, the microphone itself. It is a very solid microphone. I was really impressed with the build quality for $24. It's kind of all metal. There really isn't any plastic here, so you can see we have a little grill covering the actual microphone itself. This is a directional microphone, so you will be wanting to talk from the front of it here. If you talk from the top or the sides, you will kind of hear what you're saying, but you really won't hear very much talking from the back. And does have a very good weight to it. Like I said, the build quality overall is very good. And we do have two knobs here. It says echo and volume. This is just the echo of the microphone. I'm really not sure why you would use that. Maybe to annoy people on Skype. Or if you are singing, then you can, I guess, uh, adjust the echo of your voice. If you want to add a kind of interesting effect to your song, I would kind of assume you would just do this in software, but I guess the microphone has it built in, so you can adjust the echo of your voice if you're wanting to do so. We then have the volume of the microphone. So all the way down, of course, the microphone won't pick up all that much, but then you turn it up more, and then the uh, recording volume is increased. On the bottom of the microphone, we simply have have our XLR input, which is of course for plugging in the cable and then connecting it to your computer. If you are choosing to use this microphone with the little tripod that is included to set it up, you will kind of screw this little tripod piece here into the clamp, which is pretty easy to do. You just go like that and you know, screw it in. And then once you have that all screwed in, you can of course take a little clamp and just clamp it onto the microphone and it fits very snugly. It doesn't really move around at all, which is impressive because it doesn't seem like that solid of a clamp, but we do have a little foam in here. So it does hold onto the microphone very well, which is a good thing. Then we can of course open up the little tripod piece here and it kind of just sits down like this. And then we have our microphone mostly set up. The next step is of course connecting the XLR cable to the microphone and then connecting the other two sides of it to your PC. I do recommend plugging the microphone into the actual PC itself rather than a USB hub or something similar to that just because the USB hub may kind of mess with your recording a little bit. I do recommend plugging the USB connector directly into your PC. I guess the other thing we can do here is put this little filter on here. I do recommend doing that 
just because it kind of will eliminate some of the background noise and maybe some pops and things like that from your recording. So you will go ahead and put that little filter on. And for the most part, you will have better recording quality. The only downside is that it kind of softens your voice a little bit, makes it a little bit quieter, but it's really not that big of a deal and there are a bunch more benefits that it provides. So I definitely recommend using the filter if you are able to. Once you have the microphone connected to your computer, if you are using a program like Audacity or Skype, you can very easily switch between which microphone you are using. However, if you are just wanting to change it in the Windows settings, it's also relatively easy to do, you can just kind of go into Windows sound settings and select your default microphone. It will kind of show up as a line in microphone, either that or as your sound card if you have a sound card. Because this isn't a USB microphone, it will just show up as a line in device, which is a pretty generic name for it. It doesn't say newer or anything because, like I said, it is just using the line in to actually record. So it will just show up as a line in input, and you would just have to select that, and then it will be using this microphone when you record things. So I'll go ahead and kind of hop over to my computer and show you what this microphone sounds like. Okay, so I am now recording this using the newer USB microphone. I do have the volume turned all the way up and the echo turned all the way down. I do have the knobs facing me because that is where most of the sound is picked up is from that direction. It is a directional microphone so a little bit of sound will be picked up from the top, a little bit from the sides, but almost none from the back which makes it good for having in front of your keyboard. If I type on my mechanical keyboard which is behind the microphone you can hear it a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad as if the keyboard were in front of me. So this makes it a very good microphone for having it on desks, because if you're going to Skype call or something and you're typing on the keyboard that's behind the microphone, it won't be nearly as annoying as if you had a different microphone that recorded from all directions. So it is good to have the uh, microphone recording only from one direction, so you can speak into the microphone from the front of it without really hearing what's going on behind the microphone. This obviously gives the microphone a very specific purpose for uh, recording voiceovers and things like that, because it really wouldn't be good for interviews or other things that would require the microphone to pick up sound from other directions, but it is very good for recording voiceovers and maybe singing and things like that. We'll go ahead and test out the echo setting. So right now the echo setting is all the way off. We'll go ahead and put it in the middle and you can hear what it sounds like now. You can hear them a little echoey. Then if we go ahead and turn it all the way up, I'm really, really echoey and it's kind of hard to listen to in just a normal voiceover. So we'll go ahead and turn the echo off. And yeah, so now you just kind of have an idea of what the microphone sounds like, and we'll go back to our other microphone. So as you heard, this microphone definitely sounds decent. It's a lot better than I was expecting for the price. Not only is the build quality a lot better than I was expecting, the actual sound quality is very good as well. Like I said, you do kind of need to talk from this side of the microphone with the little knobs facing you. If you talk from other sides, it won't sound any worse. It'll just be a lot quieter. So you can't really use this for interviews or anything other than really just recording from the microphone itself. However, like I said, in my uh, recording, I did have the microphone facing me like this and my keyboard was back here. It is nice to have the microphone between you and Skype calls because you can have your keyboard back here and you can be typing on and it won't really annoy people that much. My keyboard is a mechanical keyboard so it is still fairly loud. It's a lot quieter than it would be if this microphone recorded from multiple directions or if I had the keyboard up here you would hear it a lot more so it is nice to kind of have this microphone in between you and your keyboard so you can keyboard being kind of muffled and you can still talk and people can hear you so it's definitely very good for that specific purpose but like I said it's not very good for interviews just because of the kind of microphone it is. Again I'm really not sure what the echo feature is but it's a feature that is kind of heavily advertised on this microphone so I guess if you have some use for it the echo feature definitely works very well I just personally don't really have a use for it and I can't really see why people would have a use for it when you can so easily adjust the echo and a bunch of other things in software it is like I said pretty nice I guess for screwing with people on Skype people get really annoyed with echoes so if for some reason you uh, want to be a terrible friend you can turn the echo on this all the way up and talk and people will just really not want you in the Skype call so it's useful for that but uh, most other things you can do with software and even that you can do the software. So then I personally think you can even adjust it more in software. So I would personally just use software for adjusting the echo of things. But I guess if you want to, you can adjust it directly on the microphone, which is kind of a nice feature to have. So anyway, this has been my review of this newer NW-300E condenser microphone. If you wish to purchase this product, of course, the link will be in the description as it always is. And if you enjoyed this video, then a like ring is always appreciated. If you dislike the video, that's perfectly fine as well. But please kind of leave a comment telling me why you dislike the video so I can hopefully improve upon my videos in the future. This has been Jordan for Jordan Reviews. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next review.